Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial you will learn how to add dimensions in Inkscape using Dimensions Extension by FSM MLK. This tutorial is divided into two parts. In the first half, I'll show you how to download and install the necessary extensions and software, and in the second part I'll be showing you the practical usage of the Dimensions Extension. Before we start, let us have a look at the requirements. You will need the following Inkscape extensions or plugins to be downloaded and installed. Number 1. Dimensions Extension by FSM MLK. Number 2. Inkscape Made Easy Plugin. Number 3. Text Text Extension. Number 4. MicTex or Text Live Latex Distribution Software. The links for all these extensions and software are given in the description. Now let's start. First, download Dimensions Extension by visiting this link on github.com. On the website, click on Code and click on Download Zip and save it on your computer. Next, visit this link and download Inkscape Made Easy plugin. To install these plugins, launch Inkscape, then, go to the Edit menu and click on Preferences. In the Preferences, click on System and click on the Open button next to User Extensions. This opens up Extensions folder where you can paste the extension files. Next, go to the place where you have downloaded the extensions and extract them. Inside the Extensions folder, you will need to create folders and copy-paste the files as displayed in this tree structure. Next, go to Extensions folder and create a folder with the name Inkscape Made Easy. Next, create a folder named Dimensions. Next, open Inkscape Made Easy Master folder that you just extracted in the previous steps. Then. Copy and paste the files located inside the latest folder into the Inkscape Made Easy folder inside Extensions folder. Next, open Inkscape Dimensions Master folder that you just extracted in the previous steps. Then, copy and paste the files inside the latest folder into the Dimensions folder located inside Extensions folder. Next, go to this link and download Text Text Extension. Next, go to this link, download MIC Text Latex Distribution Software. Follow the instructions and install it on your computer. Next, extract text text zip file that you just downloaded in the previous steps. Then, open the folder and run setup underscore win dot bat file. Once done, press any key to continue. Now, if you go to the extensions folder you could notice that a folder named text text is automatically created, and all the necessary files are automatically copied into it. Next. Restart Inkscape. Now, you can launch the Dimensions extension by going to the Extensions menu, FSM MLK, and clicking on Dimensions. 
Now, let's see how to use the dimensions extension. You can create linear dimensions on a line that has two vertices only. First, select the line, go to Linear tab, and turn on Live Preview. If the line is vertical, you will need to select Vertical from the drop-down. Selecting a wrong parameter will display an error. You can change the directions of the dimension line and text using these checkboxes. To create the dimension, click on the Apply button. Now, let's try this on a horizontal line. Selecting small dimension style keeps the text in between the dimension lines. Now, let's try this on slanted line. Keep text horizontal. Changes the text orientation to horizontal position. You can also replace dimension text with custom text. You can create angular dimensions on a line that has three or four vertices only. First, select the line, go to Angular tab and turn on Live Preview. You can select different unit such as degree and radians. You can set exterior or interior position. You can invert the text side, display explementary angle, and also add a center mark. Now, let's try this on a line that has four vertices. You can also change the digits of precision. Now let's see how to dimension a square-like shape. As a thumb rule, you cannot directly use the dimension tool on a closed shape such as a square. In order to dimension these kind of figures, first, you will need to create an auxiliary or an extra line on top of the existing figure using the pencil or pen tool, and then with the extra line selected, use the dimension tool. Once after the dimension is created you can delete the extra line.
You can also duplicate the square, break it into separate lines, and then create the dimensions. Instead of deleting the extra line manually, you can enable Remove Auxiliary Line on the Configuration tab. This option deletes the extra line automatically just immediately after the dimension line is created. You can select different colors for the text and dimension line on the Configuration tab. You can set a different unit, and increase the digits of precision as per the requirement. You can create annotation arrow on a line that has three vertices only. First, create a line using pen tool as shown. Then select the line. Then launch dimension extension. Then go to the arrows tab and type the custom text you want. Later, you can move the annotation arrow wherever you want. You can use the nodes tool to alter the arrow. Lastly, you can change the size settings on the sizing tab. Dear viewers, I hope that this tutorial is helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you all in my next video, until then, it's bye from hbninfotech.com.